Christ, isn't that amazing? That's a lot of people. That's busloads, all right? So it's important for every person. And I just look, even now, I've been preaching the gospel, right? Four lots of young blokes like you walk past, get hey Mike with the mic. They've been bringing their mates and they've been getting their mates saved. That's what good mates do, right? You need to bring Zach. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. So I'll tell you what, it, what a wonderful thing it does for you. At the moment, you guys have walked up to me in a certain state. Jesus said, unless you're born of his spirit, you cannot enter heaven. Think about that. So that's the state that we're all in before we invite Jesus into our life. So, cannot enter heaven. You're walking around the place, cannot enter heaven. I say to blokes, I say, when are you going to die? And they go, oh, I don't know. They don't want to think about it, you know? Yeah. You say, where are you going to be if you do die? Oh, not there, maybe you're down here, I don't know. That's a, and I say to them, I'm not calling you dumb, because I don't call people dumb, but I say that's a really dumb way to walk around when you don't have to. Exactly. Jesus Christ did something to fix all that, right? You'd know that. So he died on the cross, took all the sin off your life, put on himself. A beautiful gift. What a good thing he did. This is the one I missed. He gave something back. Took your sin, gave you back what's called his righteousness. It's a big word. It means no sin. So when God looks at you and you have the righteousness of Jesus on you, he sees no sin. Over his heaven, no sin in heaven, not even a little bit. And he looks at that, no sin, no sin in heaven. There's your past. This is really simple, isn't it? But it's not automatic. If it was automatic, see all these hundreds of people, all of them would be all dancing around saying, we're 100% safe. It's not like that. You've got to invite him in. It's a, it's a gift. If I gave you that whole building there and you gave me a dollar, it wouldn't be a free gift. You would have bought it for a dollar, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a free gift. You cannot buy it. Even if you gave a million dollars, Jesus would say, this you cannot buy. It's a free gift. He came and he died on the cross. He did it for you. He did it for me. Okay? So this is the problem. We all stand before God one day. I'm going to use you, but we all do, all right? Every one of us, even me, open the door. He opens the books on your life. Hey, guys, come on in, guys. We're just talking about, come in, come in. He's, oh, he's already been. He's already been and talked to us. That's good. Hey, listen, good on you, man. Thanks for coming up. We're just talking about inviting Jesus into our heart. Are you a Christian at all? Okay, that's great. I'll tell you what, when someone's a Christian, I always check them out. Because when I was a little bloke, Right, real little. I used to be an older boy in the Catholic Church. And somebody said to me, you're a Christian? I said, yep. I was really proud of it. And they said, why? I said, well, mum and dad were a Christian. I went to a Christian church and I read the Bible. And they went, hmm, nah. I said, what do you mean? I was getting a bit upset. Only what Jesus Christ did and said gets you to heaven. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. You cannot enter heaven. That's no good. Don't walk around like that. Tell you why, 166,000 people died yesterday. Have a look on the internet. That's a lot of people, right? So, don't know when you're going to die. Don't know where you're going to be. Dumb way to walk around. I was just saying to these guys, dumb way to walk around. Got to get something right in your life. I'm just catching up, right? You okay? So, here it is. Standing before God, opens the books on your life. Every thought, every word, every deed, everything you've ever done will be up before him. Think about that, guys. Some of the things you might not want to tell anyone else about, right? God sees it all. Nothing's hidden. Over here is heaven. No sin in heaven. Looks at your life. If he sees sin, you don't get a pass. But Jesus Christ fixed all that. Took your sin, put on himself. Here it goes. And gave you back his righteousness. Means no sin. God looks at no sin. The righteousness of God on you. None in heaven. Over you go. You've got a pass. Really easy, but not automatic. Otherwise, everyone would be right. I wouldn't need to be out here saying anything, right? So, this is cut to the chase, knocking on the door of your life right now. And he's saying, if you hear his voice, open the door, I'll come in, I'll wash away all your sin, I'll give you this righteousness, and you will be safe in his hand. Think about that. No matter what happens. Yeah? Free gift, costs you nothing, gives you everything. Yeah? yeah. Pray. Let's pray. Let's get this right now in our life, okay? He's got you here today for a divine appointment. So we bow our head. And we say, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away all my sin. Give me all your righteousness. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. I give you my life. I turn away from my sin. 
turn away from my sin. And according to your word, I am born of your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, listen, guys. I cannot promise you anything. But let me tell you this. The God who made you and me and heaven and earth and everything in it promises this. And he cannot lie. The Bible says he cannot lie. It's impossible. He says you're now safe in his hand. And nobody, not even yourself, can ever fuck you out. Isn't that good? He's got you covered. Listen, you got that link? Yep. yep. Share. Share the link. Come on over, guys. You, you, you come on over. Come and have a talk. Hey, listen. Yeah, she's got... Hey, share that link, all right? I said, are you a Christian? I said, yeah. I said, what? They said, why? And, and I said, mum and dad were...